What's going on guys? Today I'm going to look at how Orin does in the Lion co-op event. Since uh, Lion's about to leave, want to make sure want to see how good uh, Orin is. This is uh, an event that a lot of people really do not like. I'm going to start off with Purgatory here even though I'm going to take some brave damage. Unfortunately, Orin didn't put the debuff on him, so that's always lame. Throw on some HP damage here. Let's try again. Nope. You would think with the MLB Orn you would uh, get that uh, debuff on a little bit more often, but it doesn't seem to be happening for me lately. Pretty annoying, really. And I'm going to uh, HP attack here because I'm pretty close to filling my gauge and uh, I go next so she might fill me up with some brave who knows that looks like what she's gonna do might still get broken though nope taking the HP damage At this point I'm thinking I won't even bother doing another purgatory until we start using summons. Nah. Since I haven't been lucky twice already. I'm gonna use this banishing blade to try to keep uh, this wolf's brave down. So if you don't know what that does, it gives initial brave down and max brave down. So when it starts its turn the brave it gets we lowered and it won't be able to get as high brave so that might have just saved her a lot of life not really sure hard to tell I'm gonna brave attack here The only thing I don't like about being in uh, parties with Cecil is I always feel like he's gonna just get unlucky and one of these wolves are just gonna kill him. So it always makes me scared that we're just gonna lose based on that. Gonna throw off an HP attack here. Someone just popped up. So hopefully the summon train starts going off and we can kill him within this window here. Gonna try to throw another purgatory down and unlucky again. Really makes you feel kind of bad when you uh, MLB a character fully and you can't even apply the debuff. Let's try it our final time. See if we can get it this time. Finally, there we go. Now I got two turns, and that should last the rest of the go, at least hopefully the rest of his life, because we're just gonna chain him with the uh, summons now, and that will make it stay on longer for us. I'm not gonna use banishing blade here because I'm too close to our capping, and I don't really want to cap. Looks like Cecil's got one more Valiant below, so he's probably annoyed that I didn't uh, save my Brave. So since he's got one more, I'm going to Brave attack this little minion with lower defense and try to stack up some Brave here. 
give him an uh, opportunity to give us this Valiant Blow. And that's exactly what he did, so... Here I'm going to uh, try to break... I'm just going to use Banishing Blade on this. Break him and lower his Brave. Alright. Hopefully this is the end of this. Unfortunate. Let's try a Banishing Blade. Alright, we're gonna Brave Attack this and hope that uh, Cecil can take him down. There we go. So that's pretty much the end of this run. Obviously Orin can do this. I've heard a lot of people say he was a really trash character, especially without his EX. But uh, this was a really annoying fight for a lot of people and we did beat it pretty easily. So, And Orin wasn't even put on his debuff. So I mean that should have helped us a lot if he would have been on earlier. So I don't think he is that bad for this. So, go on with him if you want to use him for this event. He can definitely do it. I'm gonna make a make this a thing. Every co-op, I'm gonna record a Orin go. Make sure he can uh, beat it and not be a liability, which I definitely don't think he was in this, even with him missing all his debuffs. So, see you later.